Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. But if they say you're famous once you've got haters, I'm halfway there. Now, I knew when I put myself on the internet, on YouTube, not everyone was going to like me. Didn't expect everyone to like me. Initially, I only started this channel for my mates because they... They wanted to be able to follow my makeup tutorials. I thought I'd get maybe 20 people following me. But, as we can see, it's got a lot bigger than that. And I noticed when I hit four or five hundred people. That's when I started to get personal comments, most of which were about my weight. My intro film explains what the four F's stand for in 4F Beauty and Lifestyle. Fair. Because I'm fair skinned and I'm fair with my reviews. 40 plus. Because I am. Fat. Clearly. And fabulous, darling. Now I have actually lost over 14 stone, that's over 200 pounds. So trust me when I say, are you calling me fat? Just prove you don't need to go to spec savers. But by you resorting to that lowest common denominator, Proves you have neither the wit or the intellect to challenge me in other ways. But it's not just haters that I get. I get people that have more faces than the town hall clock. And those, I normally just ignore. Haters I delete and block. Because I don't want my god kids reading some of the foul language they use. It's why you don't catch me swearing much, if at all, on my channel. But this particular time, I've had enough. So this time, because I'm pretty sure most people have absolutely no idea how bad it gets, I'm going to show you two days worth of comments. One from a multifaceted clock tower person. And then the following day, Let's call them the lowest common denominators or bog trolls, whichever you prefer. Now, the woman with more faces in the town hall clock, I'm going to blur her name. The other two? Nah, name and shame. Had enough. Absolutely had enough. So, this was the first comment. 
this was on my film where in an hour long film I spent maybe two, three minutes discussing how our idiotic Prime Minister who clearly doesn't own a comb or know how to use one seems to be taking us for a no-deal Brexit and that will impact the amount of indie makeup that I can buy next year because if we crash out with no deal the EU have already said that we will be subject to taxes and levies which at the moment by being part of the EU we don't get charged two, three minutes from an hour long film a comment which, whilst about current affairs, you know, 4F beauty and lifestyle, directly related to how my channel will be run next year, directly related to makeup. Front door. And I get this comment from someone who's followed the channel for at least six months. And I know from other comments that she's made on posts that I've put on Insta, she's a self-confessed Trump fan and Boris fan. However, as I said back to her, we're adults. We can have differing opinions without falling out. But this is the comment that she left. I watch YouTube makeup channels to see and hear about makeup, not someone's political opinions. I watch other YouTubers for that. As a country, we democratically voted to leave. As a country, we voted Boris in to get Brexit done. No, actually, we voted... Theresa May in. To say we are going to be hit with huge import taxes, especially on makeup, is bollocks. We didn't pay any more prior to our joining of the EU. 1973, I hasten to add, before even I was born. We have free trade deals with 250 countries, which the lefty snowflake brigade of journalists won't tell people about. Tell what would you prefer? The EU making us abide by EU laws, especially any new ones they come up with. What, like maternity leave and holiday pay and um, equal opportunities and women earning the same as men and paternity leave and uh, the right to an equal pension. You mean like laws like that? Or the French to usurp our own fishermen from fishing in UK waters. So long as they only fish up to the maximum of the tariffs, what do I care? If they're cheating the tariffs, then yeah, find them. Remove their fishing licence. People get set tariffs so that nobody overfishes. It's bad enough the French are escorting all these financial migrants to British waters, despite we paying millions for them not to do this. Where's the proof that France are escorting them? I've not seen any. I've seen the French police not being too efficient at Calais. But have you seen Calais recently? 
I'm sure the country would be a worse state if IRA supporter Corbyn would be at the helm. Mm, again, where's your proof that he supports the IRA? Because I've, I've not seen any of that. And in case you hadn't realised, uh, Corbyn hasn't been leader of the Labour Party for some time now. It's Keir Starmer. Nor do I watch your channel to hear you con constantly moaning about your fibro and 20 other ailments you claim to have. I don't claim to have anything. I have whatever I, cl whatever I sell you. I have. I've got. Trust me, I wish I didn't. I wish I wasn't in pain every single minute of my day. But I have also had multiple messages from people saying hearing about how I'm in pain but still struggle through to film and edit has helped them realise that they are not alone with their struggles. So I don't care if you don't want to hear it. I don't want to live it. But if it helps people then I'm going to continue talking about it. I too live with extreme pain every minute of the day. And then you should have some compassion for someone else that also does. I have two children and simply can't sit on my ass all day long and yap. All day long? Woman, you have no idea what I do with the rest of my day when I'm not sitting in front of the camera, yapping. And quite frankly, if I did, I'd be ready for the madhouse. If you can't say something nice about someone, don't say anything at all. Oh, here comes the best bit. Here's where she switched round to a new face. Bit of advice. I don't remember asking for any, but okay. Your channel will never be successful. Sorry about that. Right. Where was I? Uh, your channel will never be successful if you continue to do eye looks suitable for Halloween. Consistently saying the same crap every video. And to advertise it as a teaching channel with the way you do your eye makeup is ludicrous. I, for one, have had enough. Unsubscribed. However, three days before putting that comment about how I only do eye looks suitable for Halloween and that they're ludicrous. Three days prior to that, I love how you can get a brilliant angle at the corner of your eyes even before using a wipe. I wore this sort of eye look in the late 80s. Susie and the Banshee tribute act, maybe? A week before that. The palette is one I'd run a mile from as I'd never dream of wearing the colours. But as usual, Angie, you manage to look awesome and totally rock the look. The Halloween look. That's ludicrous. To be honest, 9 out of 10 palettes you use, I would never ever buy. But it's great seeing how you make the colours work for you. In a ludicrous way. Plus, I enjoy your soothing videos. Where I talk about the same crap all the time, yeah? Hope you are one of the places moving to tier two. No, we're in three. Here in Northern Ireland, we're back in a strict lockdown yet again. Think this is our fourth, bearing in mind the first one lasted six months. Kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, I'm sorry, is that current affairs that you decided to bring up in a comment 
on my beauty film. Yeah. Okay. Three weeks before leaving the mm, I'm leaving comment. Gorgeous look, Angie. Gorgeous, ludicrous. I love these colours. I've wondered about sea colour palettes. I know Hot Mess races, I think she meant raves, about them, but as she's given most of hers, I've been dubious. Hope all is okay with you. Thought you didn't want to hear about my complaints. My nine-year-old son has tested positive for COVID, so housebound till the 2nd of December. Here in Northern Ireland, we've been in lockdown for five weeks. From Friday, lockdown's being lifted for a week, and then back to fucking lockdown for another two weeks, to enable us to have interaction over Christmas. What a load of tosh. More current affairs and... Oh, oh my God. Criticising a government decision. On a makeup film. A month ago. Great video. Personally, I hate the colour green. Doesn't matter if it's makeup or home decor. Just hate the colour. Really? I love it. However, I wanted to still watch your video as I can appreciate the hard work that has gone into this. What? Sitting on my ass and yapping. Well done you, and as always, you've created a look you rock. Five months ago. Love this video, you're a hoot when you're sassy. Really? Hope you're enjoying this one then. The, oh, the UD Ultraviolet palette really does appeal even though I have the colours elsewhere. Six months ago. I'm watching at 7.30 having a strong coffee and a bowl of cinnamon apple crunch cereal with oat milk. It's nice. Thanks, I'm up at 4.30 every day so I've done quite a few chores by the time you're sitting down to your breakfast. You look gorgeous in green, such difficult colours to wear. But as I said before, you rock these strong colours. Your purple top looks fab with the green eye look. I think I'll wear my Charlotte Tilbury starry eye palette and use the golden green segment for my eye look today. You, Angie and Gemma from Pampered Wolf have persuaded me I too can wear green. Really? So, uh, I've persuaded you that you can wear green, huh? Right. You know, for someone with as many faces as the clock tell, you could at least try and make one of them presentable. And whilst we're talking about personal growth, Good girl, you are not a train. You do not have to announce your departure as if you were. Just leave quietly and don't let the door hit you on the arse on the way out. That's a good girl. And then... The following day... I woke up. to two more comments. One from someone called Super Fans or Super Hands Fanboy. Up here you'll see my logo. And of course my videos are ASMR. 
what does ASMR stand for? Ate someone's meal recently. I refer you to my channel name. Fat is one of the F's. <laughs> and another real classic. When my fibro hit in the film and I was zoomed in just to my eyes at the time, I went <laughs> trying to think of a word because my fibro brain had just I think it's really disrespectful to your viewers that you let off a massive fart and don't edit it out. You might uh, talk out your arse, love, but I don't. And then there was Rimmer Dim Dim, whose photo is the grumpy old man from Up. So you know straight away it's a troll account. Uh, God kids, if you're listening, if I ever hear you repeat any of the words in this sentence, I will not be happy. Rimadim Dim's comment. The fuck do you know, you fat cunt? I know quite a bit as it happens, love. I certainly know that when you have to reduce things down to personal slander and swearing, you've already lost the argument. Because if all you can think of is to swear at me and call me fat, kind of shows your level of intelligence, doesn't it? Rather than debate with me in a civil and grown up manner, you think calling me fat expletive it's gonna ruin my day sweetie I have full length mirrors I am fully aware what I look like and so does my husband and god kids can you just plug your ears for a second until I do this bit okay come on no, plug your ears come on I might be fat but Hubby thoroughly enjoys unwrapping me each night. Whereas you, clearly sexual frustration is getting to you. One arm muscle bigger than the other. Shares in lube. Bicycle repair kit needed for Christmas because you've punctured your best friend. Okay, got kids, you can take your fingers out of your ears now. Not that I believe for one minute that you did, but. Basically, if you seriously think insulting me on my channel is going to ruin my day. your opinion to hurt me your opinion has to matter it doesn't so anybody else who wants to leave because on my beauty and lifestyle channel I choose to mention current affairs unsubscribe buttons there use it I don't care I really don't care because if you are the sort of person 
who will tell me I look wonderful until I say something to upset you and then you tell me I look awful. Bitch, I don't need you in my life and I sure as hell don't need you in the 4F family. I repeatedly say the 4F family is the nicest family on YouTube and if there's anybody else like you in the 4F family, I'm quite happy for them to leave. Girl, I don't give a shit if I do go down to 20 subscribers. I'd rather have 20 subscribers who are nice, who are kind, who are supportive of one another and who are respectful of other people's opinions than two-faced, low-down, misogynistic, monosyllabic troglodytes that I've experienced this week. I mean, if you want me to talk about current affairs, how about the fact that the UN has been providing food to UK children for the first time ever? We are supposed to be a first world country. And we have got children starving in this country because of decisions that our government has made. So if you want me to start covering current affairs, trust me, bitch, I will. At the moment, I only mention that which is going to affect my channel. But trust and believe. Just like everybody else, I have an opinion. However, unlike some, I also have a brain. I am capable of researching both sides of an argument regardless of my personal choices. I will not apologise for having a brain and I will not apologise for using it. And if that scares you or upsets you because I'm not agreeing with every little thing that you believe then leave for everybody else who does enjoy watching my films and who does get comfort in hearing that yes I am having a ridiculously bad day but I am still sitting here I am still putting a smile on my face and I am still recording content for you to enjoy I am still editing that content even though sitting at a laptop is excruciatingly painful who is creating thumbnails, uploading films, entering metadata so that these films can be found. If you're still enjoying all of that, then you're the true 4F family. And I love you all to bits. Anybody else? You can just piss off. So, if you wish to remain a member of 4F Beauty and Lifestyle, check you're still subscribed. If you're not, and you don't want to be, then when my films come up in your first suggested feed, click the three dots and put, I don't want to watch this. And eventually, my films will stop coming up in your feed. But if you've unsubscribed and you're still watching me, 
Even if you hate watching me, bitch, you're a fan. I'm going to close with a little snippet of a film that Peter Mon put up recently regarding some of his haters. Now, some of the comments he makes about you keep watching because you're, you're still providing bank for my car. I'm not monetized. I, I doubt I ever will be. It's not my aim. I have had messages from transsexual ladies of all ages, including one in her 60s, who has said that she didn't feel she could go to somewhere like Boots and ask for a makeup lesson, but she has learned so much through watching me. I had a woman message saying she'd been sitting down with her husband watching my films because she was losing her eyesight and he wanted to learn how to do her makeup for her when she finally couldn't do it herself That's what I do this channel for. And if I'm only helping one person, then I'm helping someone. What are you doing with your life? Sending hate out on the internet? You sad. As Prince would say, you sad MF. So, I'll insert Peter Mon just here. And I will wish you a very good day. Don't remember, don't forget to stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. I'm not going to say I don't get some mean comments, okay? And I'm not going to say that those 14 people that dislike my vlog every single day, the same 14, you know, that watch an hour and a half of me every single day because they hate me so much. <laughs> that cracks me up. I have to tell you, okay, that cracks me up so much that there are people out there, 14 to 20 of them, or I don't know how many, okay, that watch an hour and a half of me every single night because they hate me so much. Keep it up, okay? Keep putting coins in my pocket for my car, okay? I, I live for that all day long. Hold on, I'm cleaning off my glasses. Anyway, <laughs> haters unite. And you haters out there, I love you, okay? I love you so much. Because you know what? You keep me wise. You do, you know? Because when I think about all of you out there, I think that's really sad that there are some sad, miserable people out there in the world that don't have people that love them. And that just breaks my heart for you, you know? Because I feel so blessed in my life to have my husband, my best friend, family, and people around me that love me and I love them. And you know what? It makes me realize that I don't got a lot of hate in my heart. But you keep on doing you. Anyway, and I hope somebody eventually loves you too and then you can stop hating on everybody else. Boop. But anyway. Boop. Oh! <laughs> anyway, uh, but in this house, we don't really pay it a whole lot of attention anymore, okay? But anyway, <laughs> although I just paid it like two minutes of attention, you know what I mean?